I'm going to make some of my YouTube videos public real quick, so that way I could start. That way some people can actually watch the stuff on my stream when I post it, you know, like in this Discord server, because on Discord right here, I have a thing in here that's socials, and it's like, uh, right here, it's like sub to me. But when you go on there, there's nothing on there because all my videos are private. So it's like, I'm gonna unprivate some of these videos. Actually, I'll put it in my notes to do it right here. Okay, cool, cool, cool. There's a lot of old, like, offensive YouTube videos that I have. Um, but they're all private, but I'll, I'll, I'll make them public. If I get 10,000 YouTube, if I get 10,000 YouTube subscribers, I'll make them public because that's when I'll have enough income to, to manage that sort of thing, to manage the strikes I'll get from it. But yeah, I'll make those videos public one day, 10,000 subs and, and they're public. 10,000 subs on YouTube, not on Twitch, because that would be absurd. Actually, that's not even... I plan on getting 10,000 subs on Twitch one of these days. I'm optimistic about it. See, I, like... There's... I can offer something to, to the Twitch audience that, that is not being satisfied right now. Like... See, the way these streams are that other people do, they haven't caught up to the meta of social media cinematography. Like, everyone on Twitch and even YouTube, like, they're kind of behind the curve. Like, generally, people on, like, TikTok know, they, they know by now, and, like, I would say half the YouTube community knows, like, half of Instagram knows, like, these advertise, advertisers, they all know, like, no advertiser uses gimbals anymore. Now all they do is handheld shots. The problem with the way people stream right now is the video quality is garbage. I'm not talking about like the resolution or bit rate or whatever, but just by the way things are filmed, like every stream looks exactly the same. There's no character or personality in the aesthetic of the, the stream. Like just chatting streams are just chatting and IRL streams are just IRL there's no overlap like there's no um when you when you listen to a certain amount of music like when you start expanding your taste in music to start to look for artists across the board uh, no matter the size you start to realize oh there aren't even any music genres there's way too much overlap to even categorize them and in the same way they're there shouldn't be an you know, over to people who are like deep in Twitch. There should there shouldn't be a way to differentiate between just chatting and IRL. But right now, there's no overlap at all. Like you look at anybody's stream, it's very easy to tell which one they fall into. And that's bad. In an ideal, uh, ideal streaming ecosystem, the Venn diagram of IRL and just chatting should be a circle. Like. You go on, you go on just chatting right now, all the streams are like static. Uh, the camera angles are all the same. It's like steady, it's boring. There's very little flexibility is what it feels like. It's the same like upwards angle over and over and over again. Like, especially if, it, if the streamer is a girl, they always have that same like 15 degree angle or whatever. They're never at like eye level. And they're always sitting down for just hours and hours at a time. Like these people who do just chatting only take breaks to like use the restroom. And there are certain people that break the mold, that break out of it, like uh, XUC occasionally, not so much anymore though, used to. Um, or like the whole OTK crew doing a bunch of stuff, like random stuff with their friends. But that more, that requires people like XUC to rely on his like audio and set up like that for humor. And that requires um, OTK people to rely on like zooming in and out and, and uh, editing clips 
for, for the uh, dynamic streams. So they have a bit of overlap with IRL, but you go on any IRL stream and they all use such garbage cameras and all their cameras run at 60 frames a second. First of all, your shutter shouldn't, shouldn't be so high that, that all the time. Your framer shouldn't be so high all the time. Secondly, with such a wide angle, everything is in focus. That looks terrible. It's convenient, but it's effortless and it looks ugly. Third, stabilization is garbage and it has no flexibility. Fourth, these people are out here lugging around these like giant bags that require like super strong internet connections that like you can't even take on planes. People never take this stuff into account. That kind of thing messes with the content of the stream. Like the inconvenience of using it will mess with the the, the uh, creativity and the the mood of the streamer. Ever notice how like the funniest memes are always recorded on phones? Like it's much easier for people to be natural on a phone, uh, on Snapchat or whatever, than it is to be a, on a DSLR with a boom mic in their face, you know? Like this is stuff you have to take into account. Like the heat of the setup and the battery life and all this stuff, the, the weight for long hours, uh, the weight on, on, on your shoulders of the backpack, uh, of standing and walking constantly. Like the terrible, terrible dynamic range you get from these, uh, like, very tiny camcorders. The fact that you can't even uh, change lenses on any of these cameras. They don't have interchangeable lenses. XQC makes millions. And he has a worse streaming setup than I had when I was 12. The best misgive streams are old, like, shit quality streams with barely any light um, and it just all it is is just characters with a ton of chemistry the content is everything all what you should really be doing is using your uh, aesthetic tools to enhance the content not as a stream the equipment should bring the content to life not hinder it remember all those vines or like the, the like funny TikToks people just catch of like random stuff. Like I remember the vine, it reminds me of the vine of like that uh that guy hitting the other guy with the pillow and the bro's like, hey bro, stop, stop, bro, watch out, uh, watch out for the light, watch out for the light. And the guy stops and then he immediately breaks the light right afterwards and then it cuts right there. It's like that was one of the precursors to modern streamer humor. Like you farm clips knowing damn well that the editors are going to find a funny place to end the clip abruptly. And it's not even, it's done so often, it's not even funny anymore. Like, there's nothing surprising about these clips anymore. Because every clip is like that now. Like, nah, there needs to be set up and pay off. Streams need to be flexible. They need to be lightweight. Lots of battery life. Barely noticeable. Doesn't impede the stream, you know? Doesn't hinder anything. Something's got to give at some point. And the solutions right now are garbage. I'll work on fixing that. But for now, slowly I'm going to upgrade my setup. I'm going to get a webcam pretty soon, and I'm going to use myself as an example. IRL, just chatting, gaming, and variety, all in one. Give it some time, and I will have the best damn streaming setup you'll ever see. I want to uh, recreate that atmosphere of like being with the squad and having those like laughs, those like 3 a.m. Xbox Live party chat laughs. I want to capture the essence of those handheld videos of like recording funny moments on your phones, you know? Like streamers don't ever capture that vibe, that aesthetic, that essence. I want to capture that. I'm going to set that up. I'm going to provide to the to the streaming landscape something that they have yet to taste and the journey for that starts now <laughs>